hi everybody welcome back so next weekend i'm gonna go see taylor swift i'm really really excited about it i'm such a big fan and i've never seen her before in concert but i managed to get myself and my partner a ticket each so i'm off to go see her next weekend and i think i know what makeup i want to wear on the day so i thought i would do a little bit of like a trial run in today's video Disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist, so it's not going to be perfect, and I'm also not going to be doing one of those really elaborate, decorative makeup looks that you see on YouTube or TikTok. I've seen so many videos of that, people doing like fearless inspired makeup or reputation inspired makeup, and they're just works of art, they're incredible. So I'm not going to be doing that, I'm going to be doing something a little bit more like understated i'm thinking just like a sparkly eye and a red lip so that is why i am makeup free today so i'm going to zoom you in and we'll just get started so it's been a little while since i've done my skincare it's been about sort of 20 minutes so and my face has been feeling a little bit sort of parched recently so i am going to go in with a primer and this is the first time me using this primer. This is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. It's like a, a bi-phase type of product. So you've got this darker section here and this lighter section here. So give it a good shake to mix the two together. And then it kind of looks like that. Right, I'm just going to start with two pumps. It looks a little bit like I just squirted apple juice on my hand. <laughs> Very liquid, very fluid. Doesn't have a scent. Don't know if it's meant to be fragrance free, but I'm not smelling anything. My skin feels nice and hydrated. Nothing too like slippy or greasy. Yeah, that feels like a really nice level of hydration. A little bit of like stickiness, tackiness for foundation to kind of go on over the top. This is my under eye corrector in the shade Light Peach, no, Light Bisque. Like Bisque, this is by Bobbi Brown. This is what I wear every time I wear makeup because my dark circles are pretty dark, pretty purple, pretty blue. And this just helps to neutralize it a bit. Has anybody tried castor oil for dark circles? I've seen a few TikToks. I spend so much time on TikTok. I've seen a few TikToks about people using castor oil under their eyes and it helps with dark circles so if you've tried it let me know or if you have any like any hacks at all like that that's worked for you let me know foundation is a pump of the Giorgio Armani luminous silk and some of my L'Oreal true match plumping tinted serum both of these aren't the right shade for me I think I should have got the lighter shade of the true match and the Giorgio Armani one I don't know why I went for that shade I can't remember my process of picking up my shade for that but I have gone on to Temptalia's website and used her foundation matrix and yeah this isn't the right shade for me it's slightly too dark I think it's the right undertone but too dark I'll tell you what this is applying so nicely on top of that primer that's lovely I feel like you could maybe just wear that as like a serum as part of like your skincare routine rather than just as a makeup product that's really nice yeah, and my under eye corrector and the foundation is applying really lovely over the top of that. I like that. That's nice. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a video on my channel where I've popped on makeup. I'm trying to think what my last one would have been. So at the moment I'm just doing my usual routine, which is mostly project pan items. So this is the e.l.f. contour wand in the shade fair light don't have much of that one left i don't know if you can really kind of see how high up i was squeezing the tube but i don't have much of it left i don't think i'm going to be done with it by the next project pan update video though i think it will be the beginning of august that i should hopefully come to you guys and say that i finished it but you never know some items you use up quicker than others i don't think i'm going to cut that one open though i usually cut open any sort of like squeezy tubes of product and scrape out the rest but I don't know if I can be bothered to do that with that contour because it's not a product I'm that like bothered about I'm just using it to get it used up and you can see that it hasn't done too much <laughs> stick bronzer this is my merit bronzer in the shade quince this isn't a project pan item but I basically use this every time I wear makeup 
So back to Taylor Swift. <laughs> I managed to get tickets because I pre-ordered her Midnight's album. So if you pre-ordered that, you were, how did it work? I think you were given a code to access like a pre-sale, but I don't think you were guaranteed a code though. I was lucky, I did manage to get myself a code and she kind of staggered the release dates for booking tickets. So the first day that we were able to book tickets for Wembley, I actually took that afternoon off work. So I logged on beforehand, made sure all of my information on Ticketmaster was up to date. I had the right card on there, etc., the right address, blah, 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 blah. Nothing to kind of slow me down. And then managed to like join the queue immediately. But I wasn't able to get tickets because I found the description of the tickets really quite kind of misleading so I think I went for like a side view or something and then it kept giving me tickets like behind the stage and I was like no I actually want to see her so then I think I like refreshed about five times or something but basically it was too many times so Ticketmaster thought I was a bot and kicked me out of the queue so I had to go back to the beginning of the queue and by then I think there were like hardly any tickets left or whatever. Very frustrating experience. So I then tried the next few times to get tickets but then I kind of twigged and was like okay I think I need to change my selection of tickets. Can't remember what I went for in the end but managed to get tickets basically like straight on to the stage. Great seats, well I hope they're great seats, we will see when I turn up but yeah. Finally managed to get myself two tickets. Also, I've just put on the Merit Stick Highlighter and my House of Colour Liquid Blusher. No, Liquid Lipstick that I use as a liquid blusher. These are both Project Pan items. Just going to set this first layer. And then just use a bit of concealer. This is my Vive concealer that I still have quite a bit of despite not actually having much left in the like tube bottle whatever you would call this I keep thinking oh I need to like take the stopper out soon so I can start to scrape out what's left but there's still product coming out on this so I am going with my boyfriend to see Taylor Swift he's not really that much of a fan <laughs> He, I listen to her all the time, so he knows a lot more of her songs than he would have had he not have met me. Um, but I don't really have anybody else to go see Taylor Swift with, so he's going to come with me. And also, I wouldn't go if I had just bought myself one ticket. I, not, I'm not the best in crowds. Get a little bit of like social anxiety. So he will be coming along to support and there are some songs of hers that he does like and he knows that he will have a good time he has said that he's like yes I'm not the biggest fan but it looks like a fun night I know I'll enjoy myself and he also likes Paramore as well Paramore's opening for her so should be a good night for for both of us I'll just blend that concealer out we also have as well another support artist Benson Boone I think his name is I only know one of his songs because it's um like TikTok famous I might try to listen to a few more of his songs before I go next weekend but that will also be cool as well so we're not just seeing Taylor Swift we're seeing Paramore and Benson Boone so that'll be cool just gonna set my face just take down some of that shine with the Givenchy Prisma powder I really like this powder. It's so nice. It's not chalky or like white. It's really like fine. So I definitely want to wear a red lip. I have two in my collection. They're both from Merit. I've got a pair of teeth, which is like more of a universally flattering, they call it, true red. And then I've also got Carbo which is more of an orange based red. Carbo technically suits me better than Aperitif does because as a warm season I need a red that has a bit of orange in it. But I think I want to go for Aperitif because when Taylor wears her red lipstick she usually goes for like a true red or a blue based red. So I think I would rather go for Aperitif. I'm gonna put that on now 
before I do the rest of my base products and my eye products because the red lip is going to dictate how heavy the rest of the makeup needs to be. It's looking a bit messy but it's fine because I'm going to go in with my MAC Chicory Lip Liner just to tidy up the edges. There we go, that's better, that's more neat. So you can see how it is much more of like a neutral, slightly bluish actually red lip but it is looking a bit more like a red lip that Taylor would wear rather than Carbo the orange red and I love Merit lipsticks they're just so so hydrating they've got a little bit of like a, a creaminess a sheen to them they're, they're such a comfortable formulation okay let's finish the base makeup I'm gonna use my Vive bronzer that's also in my project pan so in terms of what I'm gonna be wearing I have decided that I'm not gonna I suppose dress up. I am in a way but not to the extent that you might have seen on social media and I've got some reasons for that. So I didn't really want to make myself an outfit because the amount of time that that would take, the skill as well, I do not know how to make an outfit so I'd have to like learn how to do that and then hope that I actually made something decent at the end of it and also the cost as well and I, I didn't want to buy an outfit as well because I didn't want to buy myself something that was you know really sparkly or sequined or glittery something quite eras tour appropriate to only wear once and then never again and again there's a cost involved with that as well etc and also I thought if I was to do that I'd probably be thinking on the day oh yeah cool I look really nice and then I would look back at photos and go, oh, <laughs> maybe I don't. So I just thought it was best to not buy myself or make an outfit for the tour. But if you saw my recent video about styling my how pieces of clothing, you would have seen that I have a Taylor Swift merch t-shirt. I'm going to wear that. So that combined with today's kind of makeup, that is my version of dressing up. So I'm going to be wearing that t-shirt now the weather that we're having at the moment I don't think the, the mic is picking it up but I can definitely hear the wind outside we're having basically like autumn in June we're having lots of rain we're having highs of like 14 degrees <laughs> we've got lots of wind it's chilly so depending on what the weather is like on the day that is going to influence whether I wear something like a skirt or whether I go for trousers it will probably end up being trousers so that as well is another reason why I didn't want to buy myself like a sparkly glittery sequined dress for example and they'd be freezing on the day so I think I'm going to go more practical rather than worry about looking nice I suppose so yeah the merch t-shirt and then probably a pair of trousers and then some sort of jacket on top maybe my my green jacket might have to go for that but also as well we are going to get some lunch <laughs> at a restaurant probably um before we head on over to Wembley so I don't want to be really really dressed up and then be looking very much out of place in a restaurant so I could always take a jumper and put the jumper on over my merch t-shirt if I was bothered about that and comfortable shoes as well trainers I think I'm gonna wear you know the the show is like three hours and that's just Taylor's part of it that's not you know Paramours and Mints and Boons and actually you know traveling around London as well so yeah comfort is definitely key for this <laughs> bit of highlighter from my hourglass palette my leopard palette don't have much of this highlighter left this is exciting still don't think that this one will be an empty by um the next update though I think this one will also be August but really impressed with how quickly I've gone through the highlighter. Okay eyes, let's prime with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. So if anybody watching has seen Taylor Swift at any of her previous shows, please let me know 
what you thought about it, did you enjoy it, what were your surprise songs as well, oh my goodness the surprise songs, she's playing such good surprise songs at the moment, now she's in the UK, she played brilliant ones before obviously because her discography is amazing, but the songs that I personally prefer and really like the most she's been playing recently so yeah very jealous of people who have been to her shows in like the last week or two. Set that with some nude eyeshadow from my Pan the Eyeshadow Palette Challenge. I need some more blush I've decided, there's not enough blush on. This is a Pesca by Vive. So I'm thinking of doing like a light shimmer on my eyelids. I've got a few choices. I've got, what is this one? All That Glitters from MAC. That's quite like a, a peachy kind of glitter. It might be too peachy for what I'm after though. I've got Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette. Yeah, that's better. That's more like a kind of yellowy, goldy glitter. Or I've got a couple in here. I'm thinking maybe that one. Glimmer. I think that one might be better. Oh yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need. That's the one. Let's go for that one. I've not used this V palette in ages. Just do a bit of crease shade first. This is Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange from my Modern Renaissance palette. Now because it's been a while since I've used this V palette, I can't remember the right way of using these shimmers. So I'm just using a flat packer brush just to like press this on. That seems to be working okay actually. I think I maybe put a bit too much on the crease. <laughs> it's fine, this is why I'm doing a trial. Figuring out what works and what doesn't. Just running a bit of buff from that same palette just under my lash line. So buff is that brown one. Just gonna tight line with what shade is this? It's one of the Victoria Beckham pencils. This is in the shade Cinnamon. I'm gonna do a final spray of the All Nighter. Curl my lashes. And this is the Merit Mascara. I really like this mascara, it's really lovely for getting every single lash and it's a nice one to build up as well so it's a fairly natural looking mascara but you can also go in with a few coats for a bit more dimension. It is black though, it's not a brown mascara. I ideally would prefer to wear a brown one but they only do this one in black. Hopefully they will come out with a brown one soon it's a lovely mascara and it's tubing as well so no smudges. A bit of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder just to kind of mix all that cheek product in together and I'm just going to pop a little bit of this MAC powder just on my t-zone just to bring down where I've got a bit of shine coming back through. This is the Mineralized Skin Finishing Natural in the shade Light. And that's the finished look. This is my full face of makeup that I am potentially gonna wear to see Taylor Swift next weekend. So overall, I quite like the look. I think I'm, I'm happy with most of it. I think I would either tone down or not do at all the crease shade on my, on my eyes. I think I can just get away with just that light shimmer shade and I like that light shimmer shade. That's what I wanted. Something light, something yellow based, something fairly kind of gold. Uh, I like the red lip as well. I don't think I'd want to change to Carbo. I think having this more neutral, universal red lip is fine. I think the cheeks are fine as well. So yeah, I think I'm happy with most of this. I would just change up the, the crease in the eyeshadow. For my hair, I think I think I'm going to apply the same principles that I will apply to my outfit, weather dependent. If it's windy, if it's raining, I think I'm just going to wear it up 
in some format in a bun or I might just put it in a low plait or something and also because I'll be like traveling as well my hair's the type of hair that gets knotty and tangled very quickly so I think I would just want to put it up as well to just kind of protect it I don't really want to straighten my hair or curl it or try and do something more elaborate with it for the weather to ruin it so the makeup I think is kind of gonna be the the main thing so and I think I can get away with this makeup for lunch beforehand as well because it is basically just a red lip look so yeah I'm I'm happy with this one like I said at the beginning it's nothing like really in-depth and beautiful and this this work of art that other people who are much more talented at makeup than I am are able to create so yeah this is my version of a Taylor Swift era makeup look it's very red coded and hopefully it should last the red lip will need to be touched up obviously I will be eating and drinking and singing along to every single song that she plays and yeah hopefully having such a good night so yeah I'm really excited I'm really looking forward to it so thank you very much for watching this video have a lovely rest of your day whatever it is you are doing and I'll see you again soon for our next one bye mm -hmm.